Hi, so today I wanted to do a video. As many of you know, there was a new Cricut update. 7.9 is the newest version where um, those with Cricut Access subscription can now create monograms, these beautiful monograms with different themes, different um, lettering options, uh, different borders and frames and things like that. But if you don't have Cricut Access, you don't have the opportunity to create those monograms there. But I want to show you an alternative. If you have not met Canva, which is an amazing um, design program, there's nothing to download. It's a free version. All you have to do is um, start an account with your email. And I want to show you how you can create these beautiful monograms in Canva and upload them into Cricut Design Space. There's a lot of opportunity um, with the Canva platform as well to sort of integrate your designs with Cricut. So welcome for those of you um, that are new to my channel. My name is Arlene Gonzalez Pagan, also known as a crafty Latina, where I share tips and tricks on how to optimize your creativity using Cricut, Cricut Design Space, and any other um, design tools that I feel would help you excel in what you're trying to do. So let's get started. So here we are, it's canva.com, no software to download, this is all web-based. I'm on the pro version because I do have a pro account, but I'm gonna show you how to do everything that I'm gonna do is for the free. You can just create um, an account for free. You hit create a design, and then I'm just gonna do custom size and I'm gonna pick five by seven. All I need is a blank page. Okay, so once you have that, I'm gonna hit elements on the left toolbar. These are all different choices. And I'm going to type, um, I'm just going to type floral frame. If you don't know exactly what you're searching for, just type any keywords and stuff will pop up. And look at these are floral frames. Um, the ones that you see that have this little crown, that means it's pro. But if it does not have a little crown, all of these, if you click on the three little dots, it'll see free. All of these are free. If you want to eliminate all the ones with the little crown, you can come up here and just um, scroll down and just select free so that it just filters out pro and all of this that you see right here these are all free frames that you can use for your monogram look how beautiful these are how cool is that and then you just add your initials i actually like i saw one down here i like this one um so i'm just gonna make it a little bigger and i'm just gonna add my initials and to add your initials you come over to the left you hit text and just pick add heading that's just going to open a text box and i can just add my initials in there agp make it so that it's smaller so that it, and then you just you literally can just align it it gives you guidelines so you know if you're in the center and if you want to change the font look at all of the choices of fonts again anything with a little crown is pro but if it doesn't have a little crown next to it have at it all of those are fonts that you can use um and i love it i love this font right here you could resize it make it bigger open the little box more so that it lines up i'm going to keep it like that but i'm going to change the color of the font and look at this trick if i go in here this is to change the color of the font what canva does is any image you have on your can on your blank page it brings it over and creates a color palette for you so that you can match all of your text or graphics anything else that you put on there you can match it to the to the image that you have how amazing is that i you do not underestimate the power of canva like the free version is amazing um, now to download it, once you have it, you come up here, you hit share. It's going to be a print and cut because of all the colors and everything, but you can bring it into your Cricut, um, into Cricut Design Space. Hit download, download it as a PNG. If you had the pro account, you can download it as an SVG. You can make it transparent, all of that. Um, I have a link in my bio if you want to try the pro account for 30 days, just so you can play around with it. But if not, all these, all this is on the free version. Download it. And then let's go into Design Space and bring it in. Okay, so I'm in Design Space. We're going to upload. I'm going to find it. Hit Browse to my Downloads folder. Right here, AGP. Click on it. Bring it in. I do complex because it has all of these little pieces. The one thing you do have to do is to make it transparent is what we normally do for anything. Click the back and make this bigger so that you can hit every little area and just make every little area. 
This one I picked is a little annoying because it has a lot of little spots. Okay, so once you've made it transparent, you hit apply and continue. And of course, I just sized it. So if you wanted a silhouette of just the image, you can go ahead and select it as a cut image, but I want the print and cut. I want the full color and just hit upload. And there it is. Bring it into your canvas. And look how beautiful that looks. That's it. Free monograms. You saw all the features. You saw all the frames that you that you can do. Let me know if you want more Canva tutorials. There's so much, there so many possibilities of things that we can do on Canva. Let me know if you want to learn more about the features. Happy to do more videos on that. Enjoy.